what? <laughs> so you ate your head. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're hey, live. It's live. Yeah. Episode twenty-two. Do you want me to fix the screen? Yeah, like we gotta we gotta be able to see that. So believe in the run, episode twenty-two of the drop live. Deuce, deuce. We've got some good stuff for you here today, so this is exciting. We're, we got this like, new table set up, so we're just like. Yeah, we can chill here like this. Th instead of Jarrett from now on, we'll have a table. <laughs> yeah. Or Jarrett could be the table. We'll just like. Yeah, soon we'll just get him a hat that has like a flat top on it and put <laughs> shoes on top of it. I like it. But what's awesome is is that we have. That you, uh, Robbie's got his I'm, phone. I'm getting a YouTube ad right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's live for you. Um, what is great is Jarrett's down in Puerto Rico enjoying his newly married life, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully and he's enjoying it. It looks like all they're doing is eating. Which, if you know Jared, that's it's like... It's like he's in heaven. He's really, like, <laughs> up in character right now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we, we we went to his wedding, actually, on Sunday. Yeah. And it was a Jewish wedding. And that was the first time I've ever been to a Jewish wedding. Yeah. Which, it was awesome. Yeah, it was, like it was a lot of fun. The, the, it, lots of food. Yeah. Lots of Two booze. Insane amounts of food. And a, a great live band. This guy had an awesome time. Yeah. We both did. Yeah, I mean, there is... <laughs> footage out there of me actually dancing which is if you've seen that it's you will never unsee that no you won't but the Patron was flowing as was the whiskey yeah was, good was alcohol awesome. <laughs> good adrenaline going yeah. good group of people so we so, wish them all the happiness in the world and look forward to getting Jared back but if this table looks better to you than Jared we might stick with the table <laughs> you can you could, like stand back here <laughs> you can stand. real awkward we'll let him stand back in the back so anyways we got some good stuff this week it's yeah. like really we're going into that time where it's some crazy good shoes yeah right now. It, it, it you know it's nice is and we're, we're going to talk about the Sakani Kibara 11 obviously and it just came out to us or just came to us a uh, little while ago Megan and I have already been putting miles in it how many, um, how many do you have in it so far I have a little over 10 miles in it so far okay. um, I'm going to wear it this weekend for another couple runs and um I, I, I kind of already have a pretty good feeling about it. Lucky for me, this shoe doesn't arrive to the public until February, so I don't have to worry about where I'm going to fit it in. It is my best of 2000, uh, best of 2019. Yeah, because there's a lot on there. So. Oh, there's so much on there. But this is that shoe that can just do it all. Yeah. Well, uh, as far as looks, just in general, like we were kind of unsure about it in the beginning, but I kind of... After looking at the pictures that you throw up on Instagram, check that out by the way, I I like it. And I actually like the white laces now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's growing on me. It's one of those things like, it's like that song, the first time you don't, you hear it, you're not that into it. Yeah. And then as you hear it over and over, it becomes like a, just like a favorite song. And then it's like, like for me, the first time I heard, and this is going way back, the Smiths, <laughs> the Queen is Dead album, I was like, what is this? I'm not really into it. And yeah. then it just became the album of my uh, adolescence. And I so. think that one for me is Vampire Weekend. I hated them like, really? in the beginning. I like, hated them. That one immediately album. sounded good to but me. But now they're like one of my favorite bands. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Anyways. All right. <laughs> digress. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about the 11. Yeah. I mean, what can I say about this shoe? It just carries on the characteristics of the previous Kimbaras. It's really nice. They're upgrading it with the Power Run uh, layer instead of... Uh, the Ever Run that used to be on there, Ever Run was heavier. This is lighter. It feels a little softer. Overall, if I was going to say something about it between the Kimbara 10 and this Kimbara 11, this just has a little softer feel to it. It's not as rigid feeling on the bottom as the Kimbara 10. And I actually put on the Kimbara 10 this morning just so I could remember like the differences. So you do get a little softer feel from the uh, Power Run. I, the upper fits great. They mess around with the heel counter and the stuff, so I wasn't sure about that, but it feels good. And I don't think they needed to mess around with it, but it's nice that they're looking at the shoe from a whole standpoint, a standpoint upper, midsole, everything like that. It remains a four millimeter shoe. It's under eight ounces for a size nine. That's pretty solid. Yeah, and so this is that shoe that I feel like if you're not someone who wants to have a speed day shoe, a race day shoe, and a uh, average training run shoe, this one can do it all and does it all really well. This is probably the closest to a jack of all trades that you're gonna get in any shoe. Um, other shoes I might compare it to would be like the Razor 3, um, 
but I might give this the edge over the Razor 3. I just think the shoe feels a little more finished. It, you know, they're, the way that it's constructed, the upper, midsole, everything together. I feel like the Razor's great. It's got a nice upper. The midsole is a story on the Razor 3. And, you know, this one, this is a complete shoe. Okay. And I just think it's a, it's, it's a joy to run it. So, so like, what are your overall thoughts on the new Power Run midsole? Because obviously that's going to be around probably for a while now. So. Yeah, I think that's their, their material now. Well, it's, it's what it needs to be. It's, it's no longer, I mean, you had a boost-like material that was heavy. It had the responsiveness that the boost had, but it, it's not a great... The last mid Yeah, the... Yeah. the, the, uh, the um, Ever Run. Yeah. <laughs> Ever Run, Power Run. Uh, yeah, so the Power Run is lighter. Feels a little better. It's got that spring. It softens up this shoe just, just a touch. It's not like overly soft. Still feels faster the stride, but... It, I think it's I think it's it's the future for Saucony for at least the next year. I know it's in. If you saw the endorphin line that we published, which by the, yeah, by the way, check out the Instagram for that. We got yeah. snaps of the uh, new endorphin line up there. Yeah, they, and those look hot. The one question I have is one of those shoes looks like it could potentially replace the Kimbara. So right. it's there's three different shoes. There's a like the super speed like yeah. the race day shoe. Which pro. would be their vapor fly equivalent. Yeah, the pro that has a carbon plate. Then there's the speed. The speed, which is like a race day shoe with it. I think it's just a TPU, TPU plate. plate. Yeah. And then there's the shift, which, which is, is your everyday trainer. Everyday trainer. Yeah. And I think, but the speed and the Kimbara kind of overlap a little bit in just where I would see some, you know, issues, but. We'll see if that shoe operates and feels as good as this shoe. I, I believe one of the big differences is, while this still has the um, traditional EVA outsole, the Speed has more of the power run. Okay. So I think it, it'll be interesting. I'm definitely, it's probably one of the brands I'm most excited to see at uh, Trey, which brings up a good point, like hook of this past year, dropped like fire all over the place. It was just like hit after hit after hit uh, of shoes between the Rincon, the Clifton 6 was great again. Uh, we'll talk about the Elevon here, but I th does this one come out this year? No, this comes out 2022. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I think it's the same date. I think there's both February 1st, 2020. Okay. And so it's, there's there's brands that are hot and I was like, what is Saucony doing? I haven't seen anything from Saucony that's exciting in over like two, three years. Yeah, people were, I think were definitely wait for something like new. what's going on like is it, it what's what's happening and then they drop the endorphin line i think it's gonna like just bring life back into that i think that's one of the brands that we'll see killing it this next year people are loving the triumph and yeah you know, the ride um people this year already the power room people are loving it so far yeah and so. like you could see on our instagram post before people are going nuts for the endorphins so yeah it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of interest. People. I think people want to see an option other than Nike. It is kind of funny. I saw the meme of Homer Simpson sitting at the bar, and it said, you had a race start, and everybody had uh, <laughs> vapor flies over their face in the bar. And it was pretty funny. Um, but, it, you know, it is. You, everybody likes to be an individual. And when we all line up at the race start, and you're all wearing vapor flies, it would, you know, as much as I love them, be great to see a little more competition. Well, and I heard that the someone else posted who has seen the endorphin in person or has more in-depth specs that it's i believe it's supposed to be 7.75 ounces that's pretty good which well we, we that, run in that range one of the guys that we run with on saturdays fast bastards he's been wearing the prototype for oh, a while for real? yeah who's, who's, uh, I, I didn't even realize that yeah I'll, I'll have to i'll have to show you he's one of the quieter guys okay. but he's super fast and he's nice. yeah and his was just like white with yeah. some red detailing right so it didn't look that exciting but now to see it and like kind of like that i guess it's miami dolphins colors yeah it's like it's it's weird because both the next nike, nike yeah um i i could in yeah that he could in i could in i could in yeah he could in uh someone needs to Ikaiden. just teach me every like ho every hoka that comes out i get the name <laughs> yeah. wrong we can't even pronounce their, we can't even pronounce their actual name right yeah one one yeah goes on but yeah. yeah 
So, I mean, get excited about this. And you know we were talking about the looks. And you know Saucony always messes around with the Kimbara as far as special editions. Mm -hmm. So, while if you don't like this one, uh, we've actually seen the colors on the spec sheet. There's some other options, including an all-white option. Um, be cool. Yeah, a ghost. Um, but you know that they're going to mess around with it, and we'll see some really cool things from this shoe this year. Nice. So, yeah. Um, so, I know we talked about the 11, Hope 11 before, but that's... <coughs> You're, you finalize your review. It's going yeah. up either today or Monday. So. Yeah, I, I think I just need to add weight and then make sure that I didn't say anything too stupid. And yeah. then Robbie throws <laughs> in a couple jokes here and there. Yeah, I do yeah. some joke editing. Yeah, <laughs> make sure make sure the jokes that are yeah. in there don't fall flat. Which I try to give him a theme sometimes, like uh, here's where I'm going, and then I like it. he he changes it up. I mean, the shoe really started off hot for me, and uh, one of the longer runs. I did kind of cooled me a little bit on it. It's still a great shoe, uh, but if I was going to stack it up against some of the great daily trainers that I've been running in, this one falls in with them. But maybe not. It wouldn't get my vote of the year, even though this one's coming out for next year. Okay. Well, I mean, I think it'll be a solid, especially for Hoka fans. Yeah. I think it could be. A solid and game. that's one of the things when we review shoes. One of the toughest ones is when it isn't extremely bad, and it isn't like super super great yeah where it falls into that hey this is a good shoe that people are gonna like but it just lacks a little personality for you that's the toughest ones to review it's so much easier if it's a shit shoe yeah or <laughs> <laughs> or a uh, just something like something like the vapor fly yeah um, well speaking of another kind of shoe Megan did like this a lot more than I did uh, I think we this did. might be one of her favorites really because yeah. she's put in how many miles? Got to go around. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we also got this in this week, which is the Brooks Launch Seven. Um, as you know, if you've actually worn Brooks or been around the Brooks line, this has kind of become a staple cool shoe. Favorite. I mean, it's obviously. I, I actually think it came out to compete with this shoe originally. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, it's in its seventh year, so it's not like it's been around for, like, say, the Adrenaline, which, by the way, that review is a Austin review that this week for all use. Um, adrenaline stability. junkies. Yeah. So, anyways, the, the Launch 7, I, so, I'm a huge fan of the Launch. I, a couple years ago in the Launch 5, that was, I think, the first shoe I reviewed for, yeah. I believe in the right Yeah, it was like a yeah. greenish. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of my favorite shoes. I've probably put in like 500 miles on it and like wore, wore it for a marathon, uh, the DC Rock and Roll. And yeah, I love the shoe. The six was pretty much unchanged. And Who's now, reviewing this for us this time? So we have like three people reviewing it. We got Adrian, we got Dave Ames, we got myself who I'm injured, so I'm putting in very low mileage, if not at all. So, <laughs> um, and, and actually because I have a tiny foot. They didn't have my exact size in the early versions, so this is about a half size too big anyways. But I mean, it looks pretty good. It, it looks clean. Yeah, it's very clean. Like, the last two designs had some uh, dual, like a booty with like a mesh. This over looks it. like yeah. just stripped down. Yeah. Um, it's very weird. No, it, like I, a, there is an in inner like... Sock it, liner? Yeah, yeah, it's very comfortable. I don't know how breathable it's going to be. I got to be see. honest. The Adrian's reviewing. I talked to her today, and actually that should be good. Um, Adrian is really liking this, and she'd kind of like fallen out of love with Brooks. Yeah, she didn't love Brooks. And she said this has a nice stripped down, like just like one of those shoes that's just yeah there to run. Uh, I mean, I can tell that the the midsole seems much more firm than usual. I mean, they still oh, use yeah. those same Biomogo stuff. Is that still going on? Yeah, it's still going on. Wow. Um, unless this has something else that I don't know about, but not uh, from any spec sheets I've seen. Outsole is pretty much the same as the Launch 6. I don't think there's much difference there. Yeah, see? DNA. Yeah. Um, hey, well, speaking yeah. of, you were talking about the Adrenaline, and you learned something about GTS this week. Yeah, so I didn't know... So the official name is the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. So we, we always thought that like it meant like guidance, guidance trainer something. Yeah. So it just means go to shoe. So <laughs> who knew? <laughs> it seems like, it seems like you don't need that in there. Like you could just be like the Adrenaline 20. Yeah. But I think the go to shoe is somebody who's like okay for the local running stores when somebody comes yeah. in and they have some <laughs> this is your go to shoe. Probably. Hand them this one to try. Well, maybe it was like a guidance thing at first, and then they're like, you know what? 
this also puts for go to yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's a Brooks fan out there that knows, so you can uh, hit us up in the yeah. comments. Yeah. But um yeah, so that's um for the shoes that we got right here. We also had this week we had the A6 GT two thousand eight review. The two thousand is like different than the eight. It's, yeah. It's a two thousand then it's the G T two thousand Space eight. Space eight. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Space eight. Anyways, it's a uh, like it's interesting because it's a stability shoe as well. Austin liked it better than the adrenaline, but it's huh. it's lighter than the gel Nimbus. Austin is kind of old school when it comes to shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. But like, but it I've, it was weighed like 10.3 ounces, which isn't crazy. That's not, for that, yeah, it's not that bad for a stability. Because the gel Nimbus I think was like 10.8, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. But gel Nimbus also has like 15 technologies going. And on. lots of gel. Lots of gel. Yeah, for I those think in you. the Instagram post, I was like, I was proud of it. I said it was more gel than the '90s high school prom. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's like all you see in the yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah like so, something about Mary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just be back. That kind no of gel. Not that kind of gel. <laughs> <laughs> but we also had a running sock roundup. A bunch of running socks that we got in over the last few months. Because everybody knows. We all pretend that socks aren't that important, and I probably downplay it a lot. I'm the worst about it. But when it gets time to run in the morning, I will dig through my socks to get the the pair that is gonna that feel love. feel good that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your what's your favorite? And this isn't like a sponsorship thing, right? Or, yeah. Like, what is your favorite? You know, favorite I, pair to wear. I, it depends. I go back and forth. Sometimes I want cushioning, and sometimes I just want something that's thin and and not in the way. Especially in the summer, the thinner the sock, the better. So, I'll go with anything from. You know, jeez, uh, for my thin ones, I'll go with a what's the uh, uh, dang it? I can't Which remember. One? Swift wig. Oh, I'll okay. go with a Swift wig. Um, I always kind of float back to Balegas. I love uh, the hidden comfort. Well, they, that's one of the socks on the list. And yeah, they are like for a comfort sock. They're the yeah. Now that I'm getting socks. into uh, some more of the cooler temps, like it's still not cold. It's you know we'll get like the other day it was like forty something degrees. And that's warm enough where I'm, I'll start looking at the blade and throwing that on. And since Lockheed only had whole sizes, I went up to a size 11 in this, mm. So, which is what I reviewed the last time, too. It's not that bad, actually, for okay. this. Is, but like having that little extra cushion from the Belega in this really makes it a comfortable, comfortable ride. And yeah. I always love my stance socks for some reason. Keep but it just depends. In the summertime, I like something like the crew yeah. length. But when it's winter and I'm wearing tights and that kind of stuff, I like to have just like, an ankle sock. And they're a sponsor of ours, but Exoskin was is a really good sock for those like wet conditions. Because that's like, a thinner sock. It is thinner, and um, I compare that closer to the Swift Wick. Yeah. Uh, well, Matt, we're we're putting together like our best in gear awards, and actually Matt put the Exoskin down as his like best socks of the year because he's a trail runner, yeah. ultra runner. But um, and that's like not he was that's way before they worked with us yeah or anything, so and i've only i've only worn uh actually that i think a couple of weeks ago you get gave me a pair yeah to try out not, so i've only worn those a little bit but, but if uh, they the, hold up the trail runners for sure love them. yeah but then trail runners you know what socks that we got um that i really have loved like as it's getting colder and we have some i have to give them to you oh really yeah i guess <laughs> But Icebreaker, have you worn them? I've never worn those. So they're they're mer like mostly merino wool. They're so nice. Like super let's see, you have some. Let's yeah. bring it up. Um, I'll so, sing a song for you while Robbie's so gone. Like, oh, he's back. So right, I don't. On. These these will probably fit you because these are your size. Um, but they're so comfortable when you put them on. See, I, I like I like this better where like. When you give me the logo on the side of the side, it's not my favorite. I mean, I'm like, I don't love. I like this. like this. This is about perfect for me. I like these, especially yeah, in the this. winter. In the winter, like when you have the tights, I don't like the socks and the tights hitting. Yeah. So these are perfect. I love these. You like this? Yeah. Yeah, these are nice and thin. So we'll um. That anyways, there's shop links to all those socks in the yeah. review. So. And in the comments, let me know if you pay attention to whether or not you're putting a right foot sock on a left foot yeah. or a left foot sock <laughs> on a right foot because if you're I literally crazy. if I put these on and I see the little right designation or left designation 
I will take off the sock because I, I can't. I, in my head, I start to go nuts. Yeah. And I have to take the sock oh, off. Oh, you don't want to ruin your training. Well, I'm like, it could send me in a whole yeah. different direction. Look at like, that. I, be I could be running like this, this way. Yeah. <laughs> Penguin toe. <laughs> yeah, it's insanity, but um, it happens to me. Has that ever happened to you? The, I mean, yeah, I had. I can't. It would be so weird to have them on different socks because they sit different feet. I don't yeah. know. I don't have to do it. Yeah. I don't know. Why icebreaker? Uh, cause you're supposed to break the keep your feet warm. <laughs> you should throw these at people yes. at uh, networking events. <laughs> yeah. Here's your icebreaker. We're bringing them down to the running event. We're gonna yes. anyone that we feel intimidated to talk to. Yeah. Boom. Icebreaker. Yeah. Which, by the way, the running event's coming up. Uh, we're Two gonna, weeks. And I don't think we're gonna have another live show between then, cause next weekend's Black, next week's Black Friday. Black Friday, and you know we as a company feel. It's important that you spend time with your family. So, you know. Very important. Yeah. But anyway, so we won't be doing a live show next week, but we will be doing a lot of live stuff from Trey. Yeah. So that's December 3rd and 4th, Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll be, but we're flying down Tuesday. Lots Friday. of new gear, exciting stuff about shoes. We'll see who's bringing the heat for 2020. We got, we, and I think today we finalized our schedule. Ah. So we, we're all we, set. We, we got appointments. All the way through. We got some good ones. Yeah. Like, I'm excited. I'm, a, well, Saucony, I'm very, very excited because yeah. we'll get, be able to see the endorphin in person. We'll have uh, Under Armour, Ultra, um, Polar, Brooks. Brooks. Um, who else? Uh, Topo. I mean, just about I anybody just anybody you can think of. Yeah. I mean, uh, Salmi. Huh? We will have on Cloud? Salmi. Are we doing On Cloud? Uh, not On. I'm okay. pretty sure they want nothing to do with it. Yeah, at this point. I've met with them a couple times. Yeah, they were like, get these guys out of our yeah. lives. Boosh. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a lot of good ones. That's right, yeah. Oh, Zwift. We're meeting with Zwift. Nice, yeah. Because they're doing a, the they cycling. They're coming into the running area, which is great. Kind of, uh, I've been using Zwift for cycling right now. Right now, my um, Strava's been on private for my runs because I'm doing sneaky stuff. And uh, but I've been posting some of my Zwift workouts. So if you're on Zwift and you want to uh, meet up, ride, do anything like that, hit me up. You know, do that follow thing. Yeah, and you guys uh, can be best friends can, in yeah. not real life. You can see me what I virtually look like on a bike. Yeah. Yeah. It it looks better. It does. It actually does from the back. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's I'm pretty excited to. to kind of get into some 2020 stuff for next year. Yeah, plus all the other stuff like the nutrition companies and the gadget companies and all that that are there. It's just, if you don't know what Trey is, it's the running event. It's in Austin, Texas. It's pretty much anybody in the industry comes there to show what they have for the year. I know we're meeting with even like Trigger Point and some of the other um, recovery tools, stuff like that. It's anything that you could imagine in a running store or in running, they come, they show off what they've got for the year. A lot of uh, the this is where a lot of the local running stores come and you know do their orders for the year. So they're going to look at the shoes, fill out what shoes and what product they're going to carry in their stores. So it's just a really crazy, like it is to me, the running event of the year. Yeah, it'd be like cool. for for products and stuff. So it's great. It's exciting. And um, we get to be there as press. Yeah. Well, uh, do we get a cool Yeah, we do, we do. We get like a little pass. You know, like just show it around. Yeah. And we're friends. Wade's yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that'll be, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, awesome. some people are excited to talk to you. Uh, the people that are trying to write, the sales guys who are trying to write orders, they're like, yeah, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And, well, I'm also excited, as Jared is, to get into some awesome, awesome food, food, culinary, <laughs> barbecue, and so yeah. on. That'll be good. I don't, th my problem is I'm so excited for that, but at the same time, I can't eat as much as Jared. So it's not like I can have lunch, second lunch, right. third lunch, dinner. Well, know, dude, I don't even know dinner. if we'll get a lunch because we're kind of like. We're booked in there? It looks pretty solid. Right. We'll have to bring some granola bars. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah, That's I mean, awesome. right outside the convention center, there's like little bodega style shops and stuff. But we'll have, we'll have good times at night. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol, food, people. Yeah. Just. Be in our cool Maybe we'll even do some live video of us having some fun <laughs> yeah. in Austin. Stay tuned to the Instagram for quickly deleted uh, yeah. videos that we'll accidentally post. 
Felt cute. Might delete later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if we'll, the first part will be correct. Yeah. Um, Felt crunked. Yeah. Might delete later. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. You so, want to throw in anything else? Uh, I do. There is one piece of gear that I'm kind of like into. I haven't actually tried it yet because this thing is insane. It's so wild. It's like this. It's a John D. Uh, sling bag. It's called the Multi Pass Sling Bag. It's pretty dope. It's like you could definitely carry a sandwich in there. You can carry two liters of stuff in here. That's insane. So it's kind of meant to be a commute bag. Um, and I'm not even gonna try to put it on right now because it's Wait, like an hour. This is a commute bag. Yeah. What is all this stuff? Like, what so, are these for a band? So for? this, I don't know. I actually don't know what these are. I was like trying to figure out forever. I was like, is it a yoga holder? Like, what is it? I have no it idea. You got to figure out before you do the review. But you, yeah, I do. But anyways, you can put it like wear it on the front, like the cool kids are doing these days. I kind of, I kind of dig it. It's a cool design. I mean, it, John G makes some. Awesome it's like a design. chest fanny pack. It is. You can wear it as a fanny pack too, yeah. if you want. I um, no, I like the idea of it slung so that when you're running, it stays like super secure. Like I've worn it. Like Does it? So, like, you can put your phone in there and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, Does so it have a pocket for the phone? It has, yeah, so it has this back pocket right here. Nice. I, I think I want one of these now. It's pretty cool. I want one. Uh, has, like, this inner pocket with another smaller pocket. It's, like, ripstop material, so it's, like, really I kind of dig it. And nice. It's very, yeah, it's, like, good quality. So, kind of, I was actually, like, going to buy it for my wife for Christmas. And then, like, the next day, John, John was like, hey, like, hey do you guys want to review this? I was like, yes. Yeah. Um, perfect. I mean, I, I think I would dig something like that, maybe. Because, I, like, I'm thinking about the weekend runs. When you have the longer runs, you could just throw your phone and your car keys. And well, even if you want to throw, that. like, you could, I mean, you could put a change of clothes in here. Like, oh, that's crazy. Is it waterproof outside? Yeah. It's it's water repellent, so it's okay. not. But, like, I, I could pour a sweat through it, though? I don't think so, because it has this, like, separate, like, see this, like, foam separation? That's for separation? comfort. That's for comfort. But it also, like, it, if you're sweating, it's not going to go up All right, I'll tell you what. We have the holiday 5K coming up for the Fast Ambassadors. All right. Why don't you wear that? Okay. And you can, that way you can carry your ID. Dude, I might be pushing a stroller. That would be, I think there's going to be a stroller <laughs> division. Yeah. Because I have the kids that day. It's going to be, yeah. I don't know. Well, it's, it's right after Trey, so I'm probably just going to show up with the boys and take photos. Okay. But that's a whole other conversation that you guys probably don't care about. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if there's any, like, questions. Yeah, let's hit some on. questions. Oh, I got Scam Likely is calling in. Um, mm, Scam Likely. Gonna, that dude is a dick. <laughs> not going to answer that one. <laughs> Decline. Uh, let's see. If there aren't any questions right now that I can see. Unless I'm missing something. Is there any statements? Any statements? Um... Oh, Julie asked if the straps on this are elastic. Uh, they are not. They're nylon straps. Adjustable. Um, but nylon very, straps. very much adjustable. This one, no, this one isn't either. But you really don't want elastic. Because yeah, because then it would bounce. I, I actually. Well, actually, the flip, the spy belts are elastic, aren't they? Not the parts of them, but not the actual like belt that goes around. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought that was elastic. No. Um, maybe they are. I can't. I think they are. Anyways, so, but I have had a, a Nathan, like, hydration pack that has elastic straps going in the front, and it's it just ends up loosening. Yeah. Because it's, like... Because it bounces and yeah. stretches and bounces. So it's always, like, constantly, like, tightening it. Yeah, I still have never found... Uh, I, like, my chest is broad. And I've never found, like, a good, like, pack that sits right. I end up getting, like, a sports bra feel where it's, like, yeah. lift and separate. Well, that's because you're... You, yeah. you have <laughs> man, man, man friends. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that. <laughs> I'm just Who knows? Anyways, so okay, someone else asked. Uh, yeah, Julie said the spy belt straps were last. You would think from me reviewing them for, See, Julie, for Julie two knows. months that I would remember this. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Julie loves the spy belt because, she, like, for race fo or for um, like post run photos. You can, you can put the phone like, basically in the spy belt like this, and then wrap it around like a post or a pole. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's how she. That's how she does it. Julie, it's pretty smart. You're nuts. Um. So all you selfie run selfie takers. That's a little pro tip. Yeah. Um. We yeah. should we should have Julie come in and just do a special on selfie. On how to take selfies. Yeah. <laughs> Her and Dave Gatiss could come yeah. in. Yeah. Dave can. Dave's would just be like, so first drive, 
Yeah. And then put the phone down, talk to it. Take selfies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love you, Dave. Um, so, anyways, one other question was this is from Melissa: the Kinvara Eleven versus the Beacon, and you might as well just throw in the 1080 V10 in there too. I'm gonna tell you something. It might break some hearts. The Beacon isn't my favorite shoe. Yeah. It's a. I just. I, I tried to get it because I was like, well, maybe I'm just not understanding what everybody else... Maybe I got a bad pair or something that I just didn't understand what they were going for. I just think it's like a slab of foam, and I didn't feel like it's that great. I know people love it. Megan is one of the people that loves that shoe, so I can't talk too bad about did, it because I got to go home. Did and, Jarrett love it too? Yeah, Jarrett loves it, but Jerry, you know, how many options does he have? Doesn't he's, have a lot of options. He's so sad right now because he's our wide foot reviewer. And there's no wide foot shoes coming out right Especially now. Especially the early models. Yeah, absolutely not. So the Kimbara versus the 1080 are both shoes I like, but they're totally different. Like I feel like the 1080 is strictly relegated for your easy day runs, your longer runs, your comfort runs. It's got a softer land. It rolls through the foot. It's just... It's a comfortable shoe. Okay. It's really comfortable. This guy is light and fast. Like, I wouldn't really consider running, like, if, if I had a 5K or something, the ten, I'd never put the 1080 on for that right. day. Where this, I would. And uh, I just feel, again, if you had one shoe or one, one you're only going to buy one shoe this year, and that was going to be it for you. The Kimbara would have to be the one. I would do uh, the 1080 if you do have a speed day shoe. Give your legs a break. Switch up the your strike a little bit because I, I do believe that one of the reasons, knock on wood, that you know we're able to run as much as we do is we switch up our shoes a lot so we're not getting repetitive stress injuries from the shoes or, or bad form from one particular shoe. So I do like the idea of switching up your shoes, but. Yeah, 1080 for okay. easy days. Um, someone asked 1080 or Sockney 17. I'm assuming they mean Triumph. 17. Probably the Triumph. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually review the Triumph. That was strictly. Um, I th who reviewed that for us? It was Ames. Um, yeah, well, it was Dave and Adrian. Maybe? Yeah, and Adrian. They yeah. reviewed it. To me, um, the 1080 is probably a very similar uh, shoe, just from the specs that I've heard. So it would come down to which one you like the look better, or if you had a brand loyalty, if you like New Balance over Saucony or Saucony over New Balance. On aesthetic, even though I wasn't in love with the 1080 V10, I do like it, the looks of it better than the Saucony Triumph. Cool. Um, nice. Uh, I think that's it for the questions. Honestly, it's probably, it's probably wrap it up for today too. Yeah, probably could. Um, but yeah, so what do we want people to do? Well, obviously, you don't want to be left out. stalk Thomas. Yeah, the on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Oh, believe but, in the run. Yeah, believe in the run, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're probably watching this, you probably already subscribed. Yeah, like thank us, you. And thank like you, us on Facebook. Way. Like yeah. us on Facebook. Join the Believe in the Run Facebook group because yeah. that's where the cool kids hang out. It is. It is a, it, of groups that talk about running shoes <laughs> and running on Facebook. It is. Probably the coolest group of people. Because we don't talk about running on it. We talk yeah. about actual cool stuff. Yeah. Like the fact that some races are trying to do away with cups and bottled water. So you pay for a supported race, but you have to carry a handheld. My thought on this before we go is that seems crazy to me. I understand the environment and the needs for the environment, but you better come up with a better solution. I don't care if it's bamboo cups or something, but if I'm paying for a supported race... I don't want to have to carry a handheld. I can do that any Saturday right. I want. And uh, you'll have to bring your own timing mat, too. Yeah. yeah. And that's something we'll never make you do when you're in the Facebook group on our channel. Like, no, bring your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do yeah. anything. So, do all that. Um, follow us along on Instagram when we're at uh, TRE in a couple weeks. We're going to be doing a lot of live stuff, posts, and doing some yeah. updates. Because like, it, it's going to be like the shoes from next year. Like, yeah. You're going to want to see it. It'll be good stuff. And I'm thinking for a story today, we could do this because I'm having a debate with Megan. She's not a big fan of the mustache. So maybe we ask the Instagram. Megan, 
You're out of here. May we ask the Instagram, keep it or delete it? Yeah. So everyone right. knows that we want to keep it. I did want to keep it. Yeah. I feel like um, I was telling a uh, gentleman cowboy. Oh, that yeah. works. That's it. And I mean, maybe I was a banker in the old. I West. can tell you, nobody <laughs> at that wedding the other day looked as good as this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's proof of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys. All right, cool. Thanks. We'll check you out. Peace.